Once again, good evening to you. Hallelujah. My name is Apostle Heli Rudokino of River Supply Bible Church. And uh, I thank God for your life. And I believe that today you must have been to church. Amen. If, if, even if you didn't go to church, I want to believe that you are going to follow the word as it comes. And then you're going to be part and parcel of what God is doing right now here. Shall we pray? Father God, I bless you. And I thank you for all our viewers all over the world. Bless the reading of your word and bless the hearing of your word. Let your word go forth and fulfill its purpose in our lives. And let it, O oh God, return because back to you because it has accomplished its definite purpose in our respective lives. Bless all our listeners. Bless all our hearers. Bless all of them, O oh God, who have you know, partnership with us in one way or the other. We pray that you they will be blessed, them and their families. Even in Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm continuing my message once again uh, this uh, wonderful evening on what I've been preaching already. I've been preaching on uh, the enjoying the, the covenant blessings of God. And I spoke about the covenant of life. And I spoke also about the covenant of victory. And uh, also the covenant of protection. So today I want to speak about the covenant of Greatness. Say greatness. <laughs> I don't know how many of you really love to be great, but for me, every child of God is destined to be great. Hallelujah. It is a covenant. Say covenant. Greatness, as one of the blessings of God, is unlocked by what? Divine principles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is, it, it is, it is something that you can activate uh, through what? Through, through obeying the simple principles of God. Um, so the principle is like a, it's, it's like a, a key that opens uh, our doors. When you have the right key to open doors, doors will surely be open. But if you do not have the right key and you want to open a door, a door will never be open. So sometimes even when you see big doors or doors that have treasures, just a little tiny key is what is required just to open it. And when you slot in that little tiny key, the door is totally open. That's the same principle with greatness. You see, greatness is something that can come to you when you do exactly what God has required for us to do. So many children of God are not enjoying the covenant of blessing or the, 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 the covenant promises of greatness just because they are not walking in, in, in the principles of God. Hallelujah. Uh, when you are without a key, uh, you will roam about and you will be locked outside your success and locked outside your home. But when you have the right key, you, you will be, you enter into your home and you will be able to enter without struggles. A keyless man is a hopeless man. A man that does not have key to enter his home is a hopeless man. A woman also who do not have key to enter into his home or her home is also a hopeless, a hopeless being. So it's very important that we have keys to open our home and keys to, to, to enter into our homes. So that is the same way, like if you want to unlock, if you want to open the, 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 the key to greatness uh, into your life, then you must be able to have the necessary keys. Hallelujah. 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 Let me let me let me tell you something you do not know about greatness. To be great means to be what outstanding in whatever you do. It means to be successful, it means to be prosperous, it means to be a to be able to minister to the needs of others. A, a bless a great man is a man who whose life is full of blessing, whose life is full of prosperity, who have an outstanding achievement. Hallelujah. That's the way I, de I, I define greatness. A man that is great is a man whose life is a blessing every day, who is a blessing to people, a blessing to a community, a blessing to his own family, and a blessing to every, every people that come across sin. He's a man that gives up joy and gives hope to the hopeless. Hallelujah. Such a person is regarded as a blessed man. Now look into your life. And please answer whether you are a blessed person. Are you? Do you radiate? Do you make order? Do you, do people do people get hope when you come around? Are, are people full of joy and satisfaction because of your presence? Do you have outstanding qualities? 
that when people look at that, they will say, hey, this is a great person. Do you have those things? If you do not have those things, then you must endeavor to have them. Hallelujah. Because that is what greatness is all about. It means to have outstanding achievements in different areas of life and to be able to put smile in the faces of those who do not have. There's no person who is great that becomes very stingy. And every mark of greatness is seen through the philanthropic nature of the people. You see any man that is great, he becomes a philanthropist. He, he begins to give to his village, maybe Boho. He begins to build hospital to his uh, village. He begins to give schools for his village. And he begins to do, you know, help those who can help themselves. Greatness is not a promise. It is a covenant. Hallelujah. When we walk uh, uh, um, uh, consciously to obtaining greatness, we will have it. So it's a covenant. It is not something that you will just sit and then you say, oh, it's ju just going to come. You can pray all the prayer and uh, you can pray in the world and, and, and read all the Bibles you can read. If you do not do something to get greatness, if you, don't, if you do not consciously want to be great, you will never be great. Are you hearing me, somebody? So, so, so this, this counteract, counteracts the, 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 the policies of some of us believers who will sit and rehearse all the Bible and, and we can cram them and quote them. If you quote the scriptures, you still don't do anything to activate the greatness that God has put in you. Greatness will not come. Oh, hallelujah. So one must learn how to activate the keys of greatness. One must learn how to walk to achieve greatness. It is not just something that, that will just come to you just because you have desired it. You may desire it and desire it, but if you do not walk in it, it will not come. Say, I hear you. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's look into some of the scriptures that, that, uh, that, um, that uh, determines uh, or that, uh, that, that the Bible have. Uh, let's look into some of the scriptures in the Bible about greatness. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 12 from verse 2 and 3, and if I will make, it said, I, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. This is God speaking to Abraham. And I will bless them that bless thee, and I will curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. You see, this is the mark of blessing. So God was saying to Abraham, or God says to Abraham that he will make him great. And in Abraham shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God told him, even when people curse you, those people will be cursed. And, and in, in, in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. This is the promise of God to the man called Abraham. And we all are the descendants of Abraham. And if we be the seed of Abraham, then we have the mandate to, to, to radiate greatness in the things that we do. God told Abraham he will make him great and, and he will be a great nation. This was just a promise God was making to just a man. But you see, in that one man lies the seed to be great and to be exceedingly great. So this was what God told Abraham, and not only Abraham, but also to his wife. And did God succeed in making them great? Yes, 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 yes. So did they walk consciously to become great? Yes, because they had, had to do everything God told them to do to be able to be great. So if you hear the word of God in your church, and you hear the word of God being preached by men and women of God, and you don't put the word of God in practice, and you expect greatness to come, it doesn't come. It does not come. Because you have to act upon the word that you have heard. That word of the Lord you have heard, you have to work on it. You have to act on it. You have to implement it. And then you will achieve greatness. Say, I hear you. So many children of God sit at home all the day or sit 24 hours in the church, more especially in those churches in Africa that are blessed to have their own big, big church buildings. People can afford to lie and roll on the floor of their building, church buildings all the time. But in, 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 in rolling and, and doing all of those, it is good. There's nothing wrong in you doing those things. But also remember that if you have 
to, if you are desiring to be great, then you have to get up and go and do something. Not that you have to lie in the church for 24 hours. No, you lie at the specific hours you're supposed to lie, and the rest of the hours you use them to work. Hallelujah. You use them to look for a way to open some doors that you have prayed for. You make contact with other people. You make some telephone calls, not just to lie in one place for all the days of your life. So, if you are going to enjoy the covenant blessing of greatness, you have to do it the way Father Abraham did. You have to work hard. Hallelujah. Genesis 22 from verse 17 to 18. Uh, look at what God said. He said that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thee. I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sun which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast what obeyed my voice. You see, God's promises to Abraham is that of being exceedingly a blessing, being exceedingly great. And not only to Abraham, but also to the seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. God said, because Abraham, our father, obeyed him, and because Abraham just honored God in all the aspects that God told him, God, God asked him to do, God told him that not only will I bless you, not only will I make you great, not only will I multiply you, but also thy seed shall be great. Oh, child of God, you and me, we are seed of greatness. You and me, we have all it takes to be great. But you see, you don't just sit in one place and rehearse these scriptures without doing anything. Just like somebody having a key or somebody gave you a key of a house, and instead of you to open that great house that the person has given you the bunch of keys to go and open, you just sit around and beating about the bush. When you go around beating about the bush, rain comes, it hits you. You, sun come it hits you if you don't open up the keys and open those doors it will never you never be inside and have security that is how greatness is we have all the words or we have all the scriptures in the bible that portrays about greatness and that god speaks about us being great but if we rehearse those words alone without implementing those words it is nonsense it will never, it will never, never yield its increase. It will never, never, never manifest. And that is the position many Christians are today. If you are listening to this war that is coming, please get up and do something. Get up and activate the power of greatness that is in you. Get up. You are a covenant child of God. You are under blessing and not a curse. You are under greatness and not under uh, 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 littleness. So begin to do something that will activate the power of greatness greatness in you. You have all it takes. Hallelujah. The Bible said in the book of Genesis 26 from verse 12 to 14, he said, then Isaac, you see, we can still see the greatness of God or the, 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 the covenant of greatness being now passed over to the seed of Abraham, Isaac. So the Bible said in Genesis 26 from verse 12 to 14, that Isaac sowed in the land and received in the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. And the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible said he had possessions of flocks and possessions of hares and great store of servants and the Philistines envied him. <laughs> this was one man. You see, the Philistines have wrestled against, against Isaac. They tried to, to close the wells that he opened and they tried to maltreat the man. They tried to, 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 to make him look really like a stranger in a foreign land. But you see, despite all the attacks that they were giving to him, it did not stop the blessings of God from flowing. It did not stop that mandate of greatness. Here we could see that God said the man was strong. The Bible said he was strong. He became so great and exceedingly great. This, this is a man, or this was a man who went through process of rejection. This was a man, even that King Abimelech tried even to take his wife. Still, God fought for him. This was a man who was about running out from that land because he thought that the land was very, very dry. And the Bible said the word of God appeared to, 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 to uh, Isaac and said, Isaac, do not run down to Egypt, stay in Gera. And he stayed. He walked in obedience. And he stayed. And that's the same land where he stayed. And God is said that he became great and exceedingly great. And he was strong. 
He was so great that he could he could he could defeat his enemies. He was so great that he did, did his presence alone brought heaviness around him. Child of God, God is calling you into greatness. God has called us into greatness, but we have to do something to activate that greatness. If uh, if, 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 if Isaac had stayed where he opened the first well and 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 and, 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 and the people struggled with him and the, two, the people of that land struggled with him and and then they covered the well there were some wells that he opened the wells that were dug by his father uh, the, the, the the bible said that the people of the land covered that well they covered the wells he opened another one they, they covered it with sand he opened another one and they covered it you know the struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle with the man it is it that those struggles were, would have been enough to make him retire it would have been enough to say hmm, God is no more with me so I don't open more 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 wells anymore but the man persisted the man persisted because the seed of greatness was in him to every carrier of greatness you know they do not easily give up to attacks they do not easily give up to 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 to, to the turbulences they do not easily give up as a matter of fact when you see somebody who is a carrier of greatness turbulence even 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 make make, make them to wax more strong persecution even make them to wax more strong hardship even make them to the, the more the more the hardship comes the more they are looking for a way to interpret the hardship that's how we know those who carry the seed of, of, of greatness. Didn't you see what happened to, 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 to Jacob? Jacob, the seed, of, uh, the, the seed of Isaac. You see? So when, when, when Jacob was placed in a place that was very tight, and, and this man deceived him, Laban cheated him, deceived him many times, it did not stop him. When Laban said, okay, you're going to serve for 14 years to have a, 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 a beautiful woman, he agreed. He agreed to go the extra mile. Uh, when, when, when Laban said, okay, you're going to serve me in this way, in this capacity to be able to have flocks, the man agreed. Everything Laban was giving to him, he agreed. But one day, God gave him the key that transferred the wealth of this wicked man back into his hand. Let me tell you, a career or anyone that have the seed of greatness is not disturbed when evil time comes. He's not disturbed because of pestilence or disturbed because of hardship. They persuade and persuade, they persist and persist until they break through. Hallelujah. Ah, you child of God, I call you to persist. I call you to move forward. I call you to move forward. Move forward into achieving your greatness. Don't settle in mediocrity. Move forward into becoming great. Yes, you may have applied for a job today and they said no. Keep applying, keep applying, keep applying. Before you know it, you will get the key. You will, you will have the right key to open the right door. One day, you will apply the highest job so far. And you think that they will not give it to you. They will call you and say, hey, baby girl, baby boy, this job, come and take it. This business, come and take it. Because you have succeeded. The man, Abraham Lincoln, became the, the president of, 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 of America. How did he? The, the, he? This was a man who failed many times. Failed and failed and failed and failed and failed and failed. But one day. Because he persisted, he was determined that he the seed of greatness was in him. He didn't give up. He didn't give up. He did not give up. Tell somebody don't give up. Say it as you mean it. Say do not give up. As long as you do not give up, you will surely, surely activate the power of greatness. Remember, it is a covenant. You have to, it, you have to walk into it. It is a covenant. You have to be determined consciously to walk into your what? Covenant blessings of greatness. Because if you say you are not going to walk into it, somebody else will do it for you. If you say you are not going to walk into it, you will end up living a life that is not meaningful in your generation. Child of God, I call you into greatness. I call you to activate the key of greatness. I call you to activate your covenant of greatness. Sometimes when you look at where you are today, that is not where you're supposed to be. Don't settle there. When, when you look at what is surrounding you and, and, and you see your spirit is so agitated, it is because that is not where you're supposed to be. And don't settle there. It's the Holy Spirit that is in you that is making you not to feel comfortable because that is not 
the blessings of God for you. You still need to what? Go forward, persist, and persist until one day you will be pushed in into that where God has prepared for you. Don't give up because you cannot speak English, you cannot you didn't go to good school, or you, you are in a foreign land. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Do all of the people that I saw who were great in the Bible, they all stayed in a foreign land. For instance, look at Moses. He stayed in a foreign land. Look at Joseph. He stayed in a foreign land. Look at Abraham himself. He left his father's uh, 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 his, his place of comfort, his hometown. He left to go and sojourn in a foreign land. It was in a foreign land that God made him great. Let me tell you, those of you who are here, you are not here by accident. There is a mark of greatness that is upon you. That's the reason why, who Sandoria? That's the reason why God allowed you to be here. Activate the power of greatness. Do just more little and you will see that you will, you will enter into that place where God has prepared for you. Look at Ruth and Naomi. Look, Ruth, yes, she was a little bit known where she was uh, in, in Mobile, but eventually God catapulted her and you know, by virtue of marriage to another land where she became extremely great. My God, you see, your greatness will not come forth until you make a change. Your greatness will not come forth until you come out of your comfort zone. Today, I call you to come out of your comfort zone and then, act, and, and then begin to walk in obedience to the will of God. And you will see how you will be pushed into your covenant of blessing. I'm going to stop here so far, but next week, next Friday, please tune in because I'm going to be talking about all the keys that activate greatness. How can I activate greatness? Maybe somebody is out there and then you are wondering, how would I activate this key to my greatness? I'm going to be teaching on that next week, Friday. God, richly bless you. But before I sign up, I want to pray for somebody who is out there right now, who, who have heard this preaching, and something is boiling inside you, letting you know that indeed you have been settling in, 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 in mediocrity. God wants to move you now into your place of, of greatness. I want to pray for people like that, that you will be set free from the spirit of mediocrity, and then you will now begin to, to, to walk into the covenant blessing of greatness. Father, I pray for all my viewers us. Whoever, oh God, have been locked up in one little place or the other, and now they are, oh God have heard me, and they know that the mandate to be great is upon them because of their covenant blessing with God. Father, I pray that they be helped to be released, oh God, from that, 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 that cubicle where they have locked up their mindset, where they have locked up the knowledge that you have given unto them, where they have locked themselves out because of fear. Lord, I pray that they be set free right now in the name of Jesus, to know that the God that they serve is a God that is omnipotent and omniscient. It's a God that can take them out from the valley and place them, oh God, where they're supposed to be. I pray for their release right now. I pray for the, the, the power of the Lord to hit them in different countries where they are, and they have been locked out of their covenant blessing of greatness, and they are, oh God, Father, struggling with life. I pray breaking through the power of darkness that have held them in that captivity and in bondage in Jesus name and I losing them and I release them into oh God desiring Lord to enter into their covenant promises of greatness as they walk into that oh God let them always give you the testimony that is due unto you that your word have set them free I thank you and I bless you even in Jesus name we pray with thanksgiving come on somebody say a big amen once again my name is Apostle Helen Rodokeno you know? I'll be meeting you again by the same time 6 o'clock on Friday. Stay blessed and I love you. Thanks.